Hey, what's going on guys? So we'll be taking a look at this X5 wooden Bluetooth alarm clock and speaker from Sinopro. I have not yet plugged it in because the uh, LCD screen gets a little weird on camera when it is plugged in, but this is just the uh, speaker itself here, of course, and this is everything that we get in the box here. We do have an auxiliary cable, which is for using with this if you wish to use a wired connection rather than Bluetooth. And then we have a user's manual and yeah, everything you kind of expect to see in the box. And this is just the packaging that it comes in. It's a pretty nice packaging. It's a very solid box. You just kind of open it from the bottom and like slides up and does that. And yeah, pretty nice packaging overall. It has some of the features on the back, but uh, not too much there but it is kind of nice packaging overall, which is good. Kind of getting into the actual alarm clock here, we do have a very nice design, as you can see. On the top of here, we do have a QI wireless charger. So if you have this plugged in and you set a QI wireless charging compatible device on top of the alarm clock, it will begin charging wirelessly, which is a great feature to have, especially if you like have this by your bed and you charge your phone every night, then you can just kind of put your phone on top of the speaker and it will be charging wirelessly, which is cool. We then have a little NFC thing down here, which is for pairing to the speaker if you have an NFC compatible device. It's really easy to just kind of go into your phone's Bluetooth settings and pair to the speaker using the settings but if you want to you can just kind of tap your NFC compatible device on here and it will pair it to the speaker then we have four buttons down here we have a call button which also serves as a kind of pause and play and it also hangs up the call if you're talking on the phone and you want to end the call you push this button you can also answer the call and like I said pause and play the music we then do have volume controls for the speaker and then we have a snooze button because this is of course also an alarm clock on the sides of the device here you can see we do have the little speakers here on either side and then on the back of the device here we do have two charging ports so if you want to charge your phones or whatever you rather than using the QI wireless charger you can just kind of plug your phones in here and it will begin charging which is nice then we have a, a DC 5 volt input which is of course for powering the device we have an auxiliary input which is if you want to use the auxiliary cord rather than using the Bluetooth for playing music and then we have the alarm time and up and down buttons for setting the time and all of that. So we'll go ahead and uh, plug in the device here even though it kind of breaks a little bit on camera as I'll show you. So if we go ahead and plug it in like this, you can see that the numbers are kind of running all around the screen here which does look a little weird so just kind of ignore that. I will show you uh, on pictures what it looks like because as you can see it says like you can kind of make out that it says 25 degrees Celsius. It is kind of interesting that the numbers are flying over here because that's really not what's happening in person but it is kind of a cool effect I guess but again not exactly what you want to see when you're trying to see how the uh, thing works. But like I said I will go ahead and show you pictures of this here as you can see on screen now. This is what the uh, alarm clock looks like when it is in use. On the right side you can see that we do have a little temperature that says kind of the temperature around you in the room plus or minus two degrees and then we of course have the time on the left and then we have little LEDs that it tells you whether or not you have the alarm set. This little alarm LED is blinking it means that the alarm will only go off once and if it's on a solid color it means that the alarm will be repeated every single day so it is kind of nice if you only want to use the alarm once you can just turn it on so it'll go once you don't have to worry about turning it off or if you do want to use it every day, you can just kind of keep it as a solid LED and it will go off repeatedly, which is good if you have to work every day of the week at the same time or something like that. So unfortunately, there is no battery in this alarm clock. So if you do unplug it, then it will reset the time after about five seconds. It does kind of work for like five seconds. So if you unplug it and then plug it back in right away, it still keeps the time. But if you do unplug it and leave it more than about five seconds, it will reset the time to 12 noon, which is kind of annoying because it's really inconvenient to kind of reset the time. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it is just kind of annoying to have to reset an alarm clock every time it gets accidentally unplugged. While we're on the topic of things getting accidentally unplugged, that is something that happens very, very often with this alarm clock. The connection for the uh, power input into the alarm clock is very, very loose, and so you kind of bump the alarm clock at all and it becomes unplugged, which is really annoying. Like I said, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if the time didn't reset every time it got unplugged, but because the time does reset every time it gets unplugged, it is really inconvenient. So even if you like have it by your bed and you kind of like lay on your bed a little too hard and maybe bump your nightstand which has the alarm clock on it more times than not this cable will become unplugged from the alarm clock and you will have to reset the time which is like i said pretty annoying it would be a lot nicer if the cable was more secure and it probably is my biggest problem with this alarm clock unfortunately because it's kind of a big deal if every time you touch the alarm clock the cable becomes unplugged like i said it's not a huge deal but it does get kind of annoying and it gets annoying pretty quickly because you will have to reset the time every time it gets unplugged so automatically after plugging this alarm clock in, we have the QI wireless charger active. To use it, of course, you just kind of set your QI wireless charging compatible device on here and theoretically it should light up and it says wireless charging is now enabled and it is charging wirelessly. Uh, this is the Galaxy S4, which isn't normally compatible with wireless charging, but you can buy a little adapter thingy in the back and that's how it is working with this. A lot of Android devices do have it built in natively and so that you can use them, of course, with this here. You can also buy a kind of case for your iPhone. If you want to use wireless charging on your iPhone, then you will have to use a very 
very specific case for it, but it does kind of work as well. The little buttons we have here are touch capacitive rather than actually being physical buttons. So if we kind of push it, we get a nice little feedback sound like this. I said what all these buttons do, like I said, they are little capacitive buttons, so it's not an actual physical button, which is a good and a bad thing. I would say it's not such a good thing for an alarm clock because it is really hard to tell the difference between the buttons if it is dark. However, it is still kind of cool and it just gives the alarm clock a very nice effect and it is just kind of cool to push these little capacitive buttons and then you get a little feedback and yeah. Also upon plugging this alarm clock in, the device does go into pairing mode. And so to use it with your iPhone or Android device, you will just go into your phone's Bluetooth settings and kind of connect, it will show up as X5. And once it is connected there, there, then it will be connected and you can play music through it or answer the phone through it and things like that which is cool unfortunately it seems like this device kind of takes up unfortunately it seems like this kind of device wants to be played through more than other things for example I'll like go through my phone and I'll try to play music through my iPhone however I've had problems with it like automatically connecting back to this X5 rather than just playing through my iPhone I haven't had that problem with any other device so I don't think it's my phone I think it is this device is kind of for some reason like forcing you to play it through it doesn't always do that but it is kind of annoying when it does and it happens fairly frequently also if you go into your phone settings and disconnect from this device and then unplug it and then plug it back in then your phone will be connected to it again which can be really really annoying say this device is upstairs and you're downstairs and try to enter the phone your phone will still be connected to the device kind of without you knowing it and so you will be answering the phone through the speaker upstairs even though you think you're answering it through your phone downstairs and so it can be kind of annoying and it can create a lot of problems and especially with this device becoming unplugged as often as it does it really kind of makes it so you really don't know when it, your phone is connected to this it's fairly easy to check but like I said it's also kind of hard to play music or answer the phone through your actual phone because this device really wants to be connected to I don't know why it's kind of like bossy in the sense that it doesn't really allow you to play through much else when you are connected to it. The best way of doing this is kind of just disconnecting from the device like I said, but if this device does become unplugged and then plugged back in, you're automatically connected to it again, which again can kind of cause problems and it can be kind of annoying. If you don't want to use Bluetooth at all with this, you can just use the included auxiliary cable. You can plug it in through the auxiliary port on the back, plug it into your phone, and it will automatically put an auxiliary mode and you'll be playing music through this device, which is cool. Again, it's kind of annoying that uh, the auxiliary cable is more convenient to use than Bluetooth, but that is just kind of the uh, problem I've had with this device. However, as far as sound goes, it is actually a lot better than I was expecting. I would compare it to probably a $60, maybe $70 Bluetooth speaker, which is definitely not bad at all, considering this entire product is around $75. I think a big part of it is the wood construction. It kind of helps with the acoustics. I could be wrong about that, but it seems like it does help a lot, and most wood speakers I have sound a lot better than plastic ones or even metal ones. So it definitely does sound better than I was expecting, and that combined with all of the other features kind of tied into this makes it a pretty good speaker. Again, my only two problems with it are one, that it becomes disconnected from the power cable really, really easily, and two, that the kind of Bluetooth is a little weird in the sense that it randomly disconnects and connects from your phone and does things like that. It's annoying. It doesn't really do it while you're actually playing music through it, but if you like put your phone in sleep mode and you wake it back up, it'll randomly be not connected to it or it will be connected to it when you don't want it to be. It's kind of annoying. Again, I don't think it's my phone because I haven't had this problem with other devices. I think it is the speaker. I do think it's a very attractive speaker, which is good. It is a solid wood construction, as you can see, with little speakers on the side. The lack of actual buttons does make it look attractive as well. I don't think it's necessarily practical to have capacitive buttons on an alarm clock, but it does kind of contribute to the overall aesthetic of it, which is a good thing. So overall, I would probably give this alarm clock about four out of five stars because it is pretty well designed and it has a lot of good features, but some of the features just don't really work as well as I'd like them to. The biggest problem, like I said several times, is that it becomes unplugged really, really easily and that just creates all kinds of problems because the alarm clock is useless if it is unplugged and with how often it is unplugged accidentally, it is just kind of annoying and you do have to reset the time every time it gets unplugged. So not really a good thing there. Maybe if you have it in a very secure location or maybe it's just my alarm clock that gets unplugged easily and other ones won't be because it is a wood construction. So I feel like each alarm clock will vary slightly. Maybe yours will be different enough that the plug will stay in better and that would be a very good thing. But yeah, anyway, this has been my review of the Sino Pro X5 multifunction wireless charging Bluetooth speaker alarm clock. It does have a bunch of different features, so it's kind of an interesting title, but that is what I would call it. It is, I guess, just the Sino Pro X5. So if you wish to purchase a product, the link will be in the description, as it always is. And if you enjoyed this video, then a like ring is always appreciated. If you'd like to see more videos very similar to this one, then feel free to subscribe. This has been Jordan for Jordan Reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.